Everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Very technical to look at is a few oddities inside this device. Uh, not necessarily oddities, but just different UI things that are be different for this compared to any other device out there right now. Uh, right now, you can see Google Now stuff right here. You can see where uh, a place I'm being navigated to. You can see I just in installed the Slash Gear app. Uh, you also see things like uh, volume right from here. You can go to this sort of settings to see all your different sorts of volumes. Also, from that menu, you got your screen your uh, display brightness you can set it to auto there's a set of Q slide apps these sort of apps open up and sit above what you're doing if you tap that one you can see I have this little guy you can sit above whatever I'm doing no matter where I'm going with apps step out of there and then up here you have a bunch of toggles uh, one of these is uh, one of the interesting ones is wireless storage you tap on wireless storage it turns on and you have this little notification you go in here and you go to a computer uh, that's on the same wireless network, you can access the uh, same sort of, you can access the, the information inside your device from a web browser. Pretty slick. In uh, regular settings, you can see right here, it's a different setup. This is LG's sort of setup for settings. You have a lot of the same options, including uh, display stuff, sound, and accessing networks the same as you normally would. Then you have items like one-handed operations that allows you to set your uh, your keyboard to the left or right or change your dial pad place placement and this is mostly for people who find this device to be rather massive. You also have developer options which you'll be able to access uh, with the triple tap or of your system options there. So check it out. Good stuff.